Okay, guys, I backed the Kokoni Soda 3D printer along with the combo. I'm an early bird backer, and I will be canceling this pledge. I think this is one of the sketchiest, sketchiest Kickstarters that I've ever backed, and I only wanted to be on this pledge in order to get updates because I thought from the very beginning how sketchy it was. Now, I know uh, Uncle Jesse just made a video on this, and I originally wasn't going to be making a video on this topic, but he posted one, and I had a little bit to add to that. Now, the very first thing I wanted to add is that Kokoni is not lying. You know, there is this pledge that has 466 backers at a price of $800. So, they're not lying. It is hidden, and I don't know why it doesn't show up for other people, but it does exist. Now, kind of moving on from there, uh, a couple interesting things that uh, really stood out to me, what, you know, same stuff that stood out to everyone else, was the fact that this guy got the printer for review. Now, of course, not, you know, ragging on him. I'm sure he's a perfectly nice guy, but he doesn't know the first thing about 3D printing. Why did Kokoni send this printer to him? I have no idea. That was a huge, huge mistake on Kokoni's fault. Or sorry, a huge, huge mistake on Kokoni's uh, side. Now, if you go and check this guy's channel out, which I'm sure all of you guys have, this guy just posts a lot of phone reviews, a lot of other technology, but really a majority of phone reviews. He shouldn't be the one that's posting anything about this printer. Uh, you know, it's sketchy. Uh, you know, Uncle Jesse goes more in, uh, in detail on it, but if you look at the stuff he prints, there's no detail. There's, you know, there's uh, layer shifts. It's just weird. Um, uh, one thing, one big thing that I want to hit on is this featured on page. Now, this is a way that as a marketing manager, you can kind of feel or you can kind of make your campaign or your brand look a little more serious and look a little more professional because, you know, if another brand says something about you, it's like, oh, yeah, this big brand talked about me. So it's really, you know, we're important. We're big stuff. Well, if a company talks about you, you can say featured on. So if you do a couple Google searches on Kokoni 3D printer, TCT mag or Kokoni 3D printer, trend hunter or whatever, it starts to get a little fishy. Now, I'm not quite sure why Yahoo Finance, Yahoo Finance, why finance? But anyway, why did Yahoo Finance make anything about the Kokoni? Well, look, just Google Yahoo Finance Kokoni and what pops up is uh, an actual um, an actual blog or a post from Yahoo Finance. But when you actually navigate to that page, hmm, the page you're looking for isn't here. Try searching above it's like it's like it was mentioned but then it was pulled maybe yahoo finance realized hey yeah this is kind of sketchy we're gonna we're gonna stop we're not gonna be talking about this so we don't want our uh, our readers to be scammed by this you know if they do happen to buy it or or back it um and if we go back over here you can kind of do the same thing with a few of these other manufacturers like look i went manufact or whatever this manufact what, what is this thing i i think i manufacturer 3d anyway i don't know point is it doesn't exist you can't find it where did they talk about it maybe you could provide some links kokoni if you're gonna say that someone was that someone featured you provide some links another thing tct mag it's right here this is what the tct mag article is it was simply presented at some booth at some conference and DCT Mag, all they did was say, "Hey, this exists." That's that's all it was, right? Uh, you know, nothing that should. Th this isn't important. Why? Like, that's not worthy of saying you were featured on. Another thing that, uh, if you go and you scour the Kickstarter page, you're gonna notice is really sketchy stuff like this. This video right here, whatever this sensor is, of course, I am blocking it. Whatever this sensor is right here, it's taped on with electrical tape. And then another thing that you might want to notice is, look at this extruded aluminum. I don't even know if it's extruded. I don't know what this is. It's completely scuffed to bits. It's like, I mean, it, this machine has been through a lot. It has been through... Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to know what. And something Uncle Jesse's mentioned in his video is that stuff just looks different, right? This print head looks different than this print head. This print head looks very advanced. 
this print head looks like it came out of a child's like sketchbook. I mean, there's no, I wouldn't. De- this looks like a massive, like just enclosed tight space for heat to build up and just destroy stuff. Another thing you might want to pick out is that these are just bare wires here. There's not even, um, you know, there's not even cable sheathing. Of course, Kokoni's mentioned that all they've really produced are beta units, and there's only like, what, two or three beta units on this TCT mag article, which I've already closed. There was only two ba- there's only two or three printers on the table. Um, you never see, like, things look different, right? Look at the way that this lid that the way that this lid is uh, kind of structured and then look at it over here on this one. They just look different. Um, I don't even know if they have a final design worked out. Like I'm not talking about the hardware components, the nozzle, the hot end, the extra. I'm not talking about the parts that make the print. I'm talking about the actual physical printer. I don't even know if there is an enclosed body final design because the way the lid kind of closed, it just, it looks different everywhere. Uh, this is another one of those big massive blocks that you see. Uh, this is sketchy looking. Like, there's, why is this so big? I want to know what is behind this fan shroud. Uh, and then you can kind of scroll through and you can see some things that are just like, you know, you can sell stuff by spending some money on marketing, right? This right here. Anyone that has a little bit of knowledge on how to do, uh, you know, design or marketing or, you know, digital CAD design and nice, you know, nice, just this kind of work. I can't, my my brain's going numb because I'm getting all worked up here. But, you know, you spend, you know, one, two thousand dollars and hire someone that can do good to do good work on, uh, you know, making something look visually appealing. You're going to sell a lot more than one or two thousand dollars worth of products. Um, look at these, look at these belts. They're like, they're like crooked. They're not even parallel. What, what, what are, what are these belts doing? Why are they so crooked like that? I don't know. I, just, everything here, it just, it's like you're stepping in poop and it smells really, really bad. Um, I mean, why are they advertising this model? The, any of these models, these have barely any detail. I know uncle Jesse's mentioned that there's barely any detail here, but also like there's very visible layers. So I kind of want to get past the uh, past the Kickstarter page. There's a lot of sketchy stuff, and I want to, or well, one more thing I want to mention is if this is your is this is your manufacturing line, you need to show a lot more than just bundles of wires and Bowden tubing. This is not okay. At this point, if it's shipping in August, people want to see you know people want to see lines of printers. Like when Bamboo was releasing their printer, they had lines and lines of printers they had a full warehouse full of printers it was almost so sketchy that bamboo had that many printers already lined up but this is the exact opposite it's all it's incredibly sketchy that you don't have any printers show us something in the manufacturing that's real don't show us bundles of wires i can go bundle this many wires in eight hours of work just one person it's not hard um and so another thing is Uncle Jesse mentioned this tweet by Naomi Wu. She uh, she did make this tweet. This is a real tweet. This was from her. She has done a lot in the DIY space. Go check her out if you have never seen her. This is real. She has no reason to tarnish her reputation over a small company that, you know, that I assume means really nothing to her. So why would she post something like this that's very negative towards a company if it wasn't real? So there's a few things here that really, really, really need to get you go. Like, ah, it's just so this is this is something that if you have a backing on, I, I feel really bad. But if you have a backing on this, you need to cancel it. I I you should cancel it. Right. Like I can't obviously tell you how to spend your money, but this is not going to turn out the way you want it to. It's just not right. I've backed campaigns before that failed and that I didn't get anything in return, but nothing that was this expensive, nothing that I was spending 800 or a thousand dollars on, right? We're talking things that cost $10 or less, or, you know, sorry, not $10 or less, a hundred dollars or less. Um, anyway, I kind of need to wrap this up because I, I've hit, I've hit this home enough. Uncle Jesse's hit this home. Other people on the internet have hit this home. This is something that you need to be very, very, very skeptical about. And if, if, if it was my money, I would say get rid of the pellet edge immediately. 
Um, I'm sure I'm sure this company needs money to get this through the pipeline. And if they actually do come through with 650 grand, that's going to be incredible for them. And they're going to potentially be able to develop this out uh, and use Kickstarter for the way that it's really designed. But if you want something that's going to work now, this isn't it. And if you think this is, please, please don't be jaded by all of the beautiful renders that they have. And just, you know, think this through. Don't forget that you have a pledge. Like, I'm going to keep this pledge until the very last five or ten days. Just don't forget that you have the pledge and don't let your credit card get charged without, you know, you wanting it to be. Anyway, I'm done here, guys. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Hopefully my opinion kind of helped you. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.